Welcome back to the baby. Hey. Welcome back to the basement. Oh, oh that, was, that was recording. Oh, it's recording. What'd you say? I didn't think we were recording. Yeah. I was just talking about my plan to, you know, rid the world of all of the... Whoa. Uh, be careful, because <laughs> there was another speech in history that went that way, and it went really bad. I was, I was going to say people that hold their nose, you know, talking about Patreon. Uh, wait, what? You remember we spoke about that on Patreon, babe? I do, but you freaked me out. Summer Tings. Summer Tings. I do remember the Patreon episode. Yes, welcome back. Hey. But what you're saying was terrifying what did you what were you going to say at the end of that rid the world of people that hold their nose okay what do you think i was gonna say you think i was gonna go with... i don't know there's a, a guy whose name starts with a and it ends with dolph <laughs> i know who said who... something similar listen i can i can read the subtext of what you're saying mm -hmm. and i know who you're talking about we're talking about the holly uh, yes, yes, you are. Um, but no, what? What kind of an evil person do you think I am, Joey? If anyone here would be a sympathizer, sympathizer, it would be. Did I tell you I went to like a World War II weekend one time, and there were people? What does that mean, Frank? You went to a reenactment? There was a reenactment there, and they were like, it was like they sold like old guns, and like it was just like old planes they were and selling tanks. Muskets. First of all, when the fuck do you think we had muskets, Joe? I don't know. We, you've played oh, video World games War II. set in World War II. <laughs> what, what the fuck do you think we were shooting? No, we had MP40s. Yeah, we had MP40s, you know, uh, PPSHs. Yeah. Uh, STG44s. Yes. Car 98s. That's a good one. Bars. Bars are great. Those are good ones. Uh, Thompsons. We're done. Okay. Uh, but there were people walking around... In full Nazi garb. Really? Yes. It was weird. Do you think they're hype to get cast as a Nazi or they're not hype? I don't think they're cast. I think it's like they are like... Volunteers? Yeah, bro. Oh, we gotta... That's a, like... We gotta chill. That's weird. Yeah, you That can't. is fucking weird. You can't volunteer. That's like... I And I, I tweeted this because I've been watching um, the Miss Marvel TV show, which you, you haven't been watching it yet, correct? No. There's a scene where she goes to like a Comic Con type event called Avengers Con, mm -hmm. and there are people dressed up as as Thanos. Cool. And I said, I was like, isn't that fucking weird? Like, oh, yeah. if you saw people like at a World War II weekend, it's weird if you see someone dressing up and like cosplaying as Hitler. Right. So like, why in their world would they dress as the guy who tried to destroy the Earth? Who literally destroyed half of the fucking population. Yeah. Weird. Wow, doesn't make sense. Honestly, that slipped right by him, didn't it? Uh, I would, I would think that they didn't think much into it. Yeah, but you know, your boy is on top of it. Yeah, yeah. You but are. yeah, it was weird seeing people cosplaying as as Nazis because it's like, hey, <laughs> I don't think you realize what you're doing there. No, I mean they do, but I do. So wait, hold on. What was the reenactment? Like they had like there was like a shootout. I, I've told the story. I walked through a reenactment accidentally. Oh, I've always wanted to go to like, because don't they have them in Pennsylvania where like they do like fucking the Gettysburg? Civil War? Yeah, they have them at Gettysburg. I would love to go to a Civil War reenactment and see some dude. Would you? Careful. If you hear my father in law say that, he will drive here right now, rip you from this office, and bring you. Why? He's really big on he that? He's a big time history buff. Is that his favorite war? He's a, he's a big World What's War. What's your favorite war? Um, Mine's World War II. I would say the war on white men. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's an a good, ongoing one. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah, that may never end. <laughs> you never know. Exactly. Uh, no, I would. I, I, I hate history, mm -hmm. but like I do find World War II interesting. It's a cool war. It was pretty, it was pretty cool war. Cool. Also, the best video games come from World War Two. They, they, they do, they do. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm not a big history guy. No. Um, but yeah, I walked through. I got to this World War Two weekend thing in Pennsylvania, where it all happens for some reason. And I'm, have to land. I'm walking through and there's like fucking like buildings and shit. And like there's like kids with like trying to sell newspapers on the street and shit like that. Oh, they have children working this thing too? M yes, it's dude. It's fully immersive. Very. And I was like, the, wow, they're really, they're eating beans out of fucking like cans. And stone shit. cans. Yeah. Do they have <laughs> stone cans? <laughs> Do they have like restaurants where you go and you like, you know? Uh, they, not there, but they... they it was, it was, they drew the line at the food that they were serving. Ah, uh, that sucks. You know, I mean, there, it was kind of weird because there was like one stand that was like, they just had like bratwurst and it was like, oh, we shouldn't, we should probably just do probably, hot dogs. Yeah. Just do hot just dogs. Just do hot dogs. Because. Always dog sucking season. Oh yeah. Well, obviously. But yeah. also a very American. It is. Oh, uh, it's an American day, by the way. It's, it's the 4th of July. 4th of July. We're not recording this on the 4th of July, of no, course. We're not. Otherwise no, we're not. I'd be, you know. 
You're choking down some hot dogs. And three sheets to the wind. What's that mean? You'd be hammered. Oh, is that what that means? Uh, yes, it does. Three sheets to the wind? Yes, yes, yes. How does that even line up? What happens when you put three sheets in the wind? They blow away. They're, they can't, you know, whoa. Why three? Uh, it might even be two. I might be fucking that up. <laughs> How many sheets to the wind? But yeah, I walked through this reenactment and didn't realize that I shouldn't have been walking there, and then I started hearing gunshots. Three sheets. Three sheets. Did you think that we were under attack in that moment or no? I, w- I literally got scared, and then I ran out the other side, and they were like, it was a full-on reenactment, which looks, gotta say, very fun. It does. I, I'm like into LARPing. I would hard LARP, dude. Yeah, like, and also, I'd win. That's it. <laughs> I was just going to say, you'd be the type that they would stab you and they'd be like, you're dead. And you'd be like, no, you didn't, you got under my arm. I yeah. am actually still alive. I would just be, boom, you're dead. I would be arguing like, this is chain mail. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> but I'd win. Like, and when you, like the movie Role Models where he did like that sort of LARPing, like, yo, that doesn't not seem... Like, I don't see that as being, like, insanely nerdy. I, I think the— It is nerdy. It is nerdy. And but, like, it's kind of sick. Dude, kind of? It is super fucking Anything sick. Anything where I can get a sword, I'm in. I want to, like, I want to one day go to, like, they have them in Central Park, where it's, like, they have fucking battles, dude, with, like, 150 people. One time, I was at a cent- I was at Central Park. I was riding my bike there. I rode my bike from here to there, and I'm going around the loop. Simple flex. And then at a and, and an exercise in health. Right? Yeah, I know, I know exactly. When you had abs over a very <laughs> <laughs> when you had abs over a bridge, it was this whole thing. Mm-hmm. Not not many people can do it. No, I bet. Um, but yeah, as I was completing this feat of uh, strength, I was like pulled over on the side because I think someone I was with had like a phone call or something. And I look, and there's, like, this group of guys. They're wearing metal. Oh, like, full, like, armor. Bro, they're hitting the shit out of each other. Really? In the middle of Central Park. Oh, I thought it was just, like, a play... Because they have swords that are made of foam. Dude, if they weren't wearing protection, dead. Really? I was like, yo, this... Ha- I mean, the- some policeman on a horse is going to gallop up. Yeah, and make like, it part of it. get on the back. You're arrested. Make it part of it. That'd be super sick. I, I kind of have never done anything sword-related in my life. But I think I would be awesome at it. I feel like I have an. Uh, I don't know this to be true, but I do think that I ha- I know my way around a sword. Yes. Like I feel like I just I have a knack for swording. Do you think if you ever see anything historical, whether it be show, movies, whatever, or like documentaries, yeah, do you instantly think that you're smarter and better than every person that came before you? Yeah, I mean I do that now too. There's a problem I'm working on. I'm in therapy, but <laughs> I. <laughs> Well, I said came before you, not that you sit across a desk from. Oh, well, yeah. well That yeah, one, too. That's yeah. a big issue for Duh. me. Duh. Uh, no, but all of those movies I see, right, two things cross my mind. One, I feel like I know for a fact that I'm not good with a bow and arrow, but whenever I watch these movies, I'm like, yo, I'd be fucking good with a bow for yeah. some reason. And then two, I don't think the bow and arrow guys get enough respect as they should. They should. They get, They deserve way more respect. Hawkeye oh. is a pretty cool character. Dude, a fucking bow and arrow is so cool. Dude, because it's like, there's something about it that's like, it's not, like when you shoot someone, it's like the gun did the work. When you do a bow and arrow, that fucking archer did the work. You know what I mean? So, so like, sick. they deserve more respect than what's hitting them. Dude. I'm good with a bow and arrow. I've, I've also, gone. Also, when I watch like Lord of the Rings or something, right? And they have just, or just like any type of movie where there's like a castle and shit. They have all these archers on the top thing, and the guy's like, ready! And then they fucking all... <laughs> First of all, this is the coolest feeling in the world, just having your sword and just going like this, and then just fucking arrows. Yeah. Oh. How does anyone storm a castle? How do you make it? Just keep shooting arrows. How do they but they got, die? They got, they got swords. Dude. And a lot of people would have shields in front of them, and they'd put shields on top of them. So they'd like try to run and and con, you know together. So it's harder for the arrows to hit people. I don't know. Bro. It's pretty cool. A goal that I have by the end of my lifetime is to go to a LARPing thing, and I want to, like you said, I want to be the person that just Takes points the, the sword. Yeah. And just. I want to fight a king. Do you, <laughs> Do you think? I, I think if we push the tables back in here, we set some cameras up. Oh, you want to LARP me? That would be a good me and you sword fighting. I'd sword fight you. I'd be pretty aggressive, though, I have to say. Yeah, you'd be one of, like, the, yeah. Like, I'd be on my back, and you'd be talking shit to me, and then just, like, 
hitting my sword while I'm blocking. Yeah, it, yeah, and yeah. It would cut my eye a little bit. A little but bit. But then I'd get you and I'd stab your leg. Yeah, it would be my own hubris that took me down. Exactly. Your you know, ego like, is what takes you down. And I'm like, I'm sitting there, bang, 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 and then tiring myself shit. out. This is for my father who you, you know, did something to, but I didn't actually do it. You just think it was me. Yeah, no, no, your dad, wasn't me. your dad did it on his own. I didn't have to do anything. Right, exactly. No, well, now we're blending real life and we're talking about gotcha. fantasy things. Well, if it's not, if, if, you know. Everything's based off something. Reality is stranger than fiction. That's true. Um, but I would like to get into a sword fight as well. I think we could kill it as sword fighters. I really do. You know what I think about it all the time? I feel like I would have made a really good pirate. Dude, you would have because you're ruthless. Yeah. <laughs> you're ruthless and you're a drunk. I honestly, yes. I feel like I like boats. I do like drinking. But more so than and, you and like hanging with Du Bois. And also, I'm, I'm actually super hyped when there's a little monkey around. Big, first of all... <laughs> Yeah, confirmed. Big boys time guy you are. Big boys time. And on top of liking those things, you're whenever you're I've seen you on a boat, you're always perched. You know, like you're never just like sitting on a boat no. bored. You're like holding on to something like yeah. gun, 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 you know, like you're and you're I, ready for another boat. I am, I am, I am. You I am. might have been a, a a pirate in a previous I life. I hope so, bro. And also, I remember I was talking about like I would love some shillings. Like I would love that. Shillings would and be also, cool. I'm okay with robbing. Shillings would be cool. Also, I'm okay with robbing boats. I don't think that you should rob people on land, but I think if you're on the sea, it's fair game. If yeah. you get your boat robbed, bro, get a better boat. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> if you don't, uh, on the boat, no one cares if you have guns on boats, but if you have guns on land, we got a big old problem. That's a huge issue. I'm saying this. I think I would be a really good pirate because I'm very good at evading people. Like you'd be a good like captain. I'd be a good I'd be a good like, you know, like I'm sitting there and I'd be like, Today is the day you almost caught Captain Frank. And I fucking with my sword hit a rope. And then the fucking rope pulls me up, and then I'm gone. Yeah, dude. you're just describing a, a scene from, I, from, yeah, from, from Pirates, Pirates of the, the Caribbean. Caribbean. Yes, but I'm saying, like, the times I remember playing Manhunt as a kid, yeah. I was very good at, like, you would be chasing me out this door. We'd both, I'd get out the door. You'd be a split second behind, but I'd be gone. You'd be in the wind, yeah. You know? And I think I'd be a good pirate because of that. And I'd have, but I'd do it better than them because I would fucking lie. You think pirates were... Honest men? Yes. Bro, they'd be like, they'd have a fucking crude hand drawing of a pirate from one island, and they'd hold it up, and they'd be like, are you, are you Redbeard? And they'd be like, yes, I am. Uh, they'd fucking be caught already. I'd be like, who the fuck is that? That ain't me. I don't know, man. I'd be a big time, bro, pirates? Big time liar. They'd never catch me. They'd be I like, all right, that's Blackbeard. You could tell by his signature Blackbeard. Just shave that son of a bitch. They'd never know. No, no, you can't shave your beard as a captain. Yeah, you can. Oh, man. Also, there's a jail. That's kind of cool. Yeah, well, you could still do that Just if that's a jailing thing. people on your But also, boat. how did jails work back then? You just put them in there. Yeah, but like... There wasn't a sentence. It was like, we're just going to let them die in this. They were made of fucking mud and clay. I would just burrow my way through with my fingernail. I'd be yeah, out in bro, a week. They had iron. They were sh they were shooting cannibals. What is that? Lead or something? I don't, I don't know. know. That's a good question. What the fuck is a cannibal made out of? Cannibal, I think, is probably lead. Bro, the uh, the invention of a cannibal. Imagine getting hit with a cannibal. You would not. You don't have to imagine. You would not exist. You oh. would spontaneously combust. Those things were fucking. Pirates big. are fucking cool, man. Those are my favorite criminals. What other? Who's your, who's your favorite criminal? Um, I'm pretty cool. Pirates are pretty cool. Is there like a known pirate? Uh, there's got to be. They're all Spanish. First, that's the other thing. I already got the heritage for being a pirate, and my twirly mustache is nothing to not write home about. You know what I'm saying? Oh wait, is Blackbeard a real pirate? Yeah, dude. So is Redbeard, dude. Blackbeard is probably the most well-known pirate in history, even though his life is shrouded in mystery. Much of what we know about him and other pirates at the time comes from a 1724 book published under the name Captain Charles Johnson. That sounds fake. That's a really stupid pirate name, dude. Captain Charles Johnson? What would be your pirate name? I don't know. It wouldn't be Charles Johnson. That's yeah. some white piece of shit. That's really bad. I'm a white piece of shit in this lifetime. I'm going to go back and be a pirate. My name's going to be fucking Steve. I'd be, fuck I'd be, I, I, I'd be Pirate Frank the Shank. Frank the Shank. Yeah, but you're just like making like wrestler names. No, oh, damn, this is fun. he. Seventeen sixteen, he returned. He turned to pirating in the Caribbean Sea, and off the coast of South Carolina and Virginia, and his ship's name, the Queen Anne's 
revenge. Ooh. You know how fucking cool it must be to be a, a like a sick pirate? Like imagine you're Blackbeard and people know you, right? And then they, they have their like telescope and they're like, what the fuck? And they're like looking. <laughs> and then all of a sudden they see that sail and then you're looking. You're already looking, right, at these guys. And then you see them just panicking. You're like, oh, we got them. We got them. And then I would scream at the top of my lungs, fire! Yeah. And I would blow every fucking cannon straight through that dock. Because that's the cool part. Blowing Cam up ships. Cannons hitting people, not that cool. Cannons hitting wood. You ever yeah. see a cannon hit a wood? Yeah, it's amazing. Cool, dude. Sinking a ship that people are on is fucking cool. Nothing is more American in 4th of July than <laughs> wanting to be a pirate. Do you believe it's very... <laughs> wait, wait, what did you say? I said <laughs> sinking ships that people are on is fucking cool. <laughs> and it's crazy because I know how funny that sounds, but man, do I mean that. Yeah, no, you do. And honestly... I'm not, not gonna, cruise ships. I'm not going to argue ships. It. Yes. Pirate ship, like A rival pirate Titanic, crew. not nearly as funny as nah, bro, St. Anne's ice. Revenge. St. Anne's Revenge, yeah. If, if, the, if the fucking... If we found out through time that it wasn't an iceberg it was Blackbeard I, that, I'd probably be feel most, a little less bad that'd be the most thug shit I'd ever heard yeah bro he took down a whole fucking the biggest cruise ship in the world at the time yeah that was like you get pirates today can't do that no maybe found pretty quickly yeah there are pirates today but they're not as like cool Smalley pirates that's the only ones I know I, I'm sure there are pirates in other oh, know, yeah, parts of, course. of the world but like not as cool well technically if we commit crime in the sea we're pirates Oh my god. So we could become pirates fairly easy. If not, yeah. I wait, hold on. Is it illegal to pee into the ocean while whilst on the ocean? No. Fuck. I was almost uh, a pirate. It's illegal to pee in front of people you don't know on the ocean. I'm thinking of the barge when we were on in Key West. Oh did, yeah. Did any pissed. of us were any of us pirates as a result? No. God damn it. I don't think you'd be a pirate in Key West. Very, well, <laughs> trust me, there are plenty of different kinds of pirates in Key West. <laughs> <laughs> Bing bong pirates. Yes. Um, all right. Very, very close to being pirates. This close. What? We were this close. We could have done something illegal out there. If we would have, like, stole a boat. I, I don't even know that you could steal a boat. You're just a criminal. But if you are on a boat, you jump on someone else's boat, you hold them on a gunpoint, you take their shit, then you get on your boat and you leave. Pirate. Now you're a pirate. Pirate. Which... If I had to commit one crime, that would be the one, dude. I mean, does it count if you're on a lake? Or is it only the open seas? Do you seas? want to steal someone's stuff on a boat? I'm just saying, like, if we came across someone on a lake that we are easily have access to mm -hmm. and, like, hopped on their boat and took their beer. Because I'm not... Beer. Kill. Oh, no, I'm not going to kill anyone either. But, like, that's what they would do. They would plunder, dude. They would steal barrels of rum from people. No, I know. So, like, if we come across a boat on the lake... If we come across a boat on a lake with a, with a bunch of old women who have, like, a ton of cash and beer... We have to pull over, and we take the beer and the money, and before we leave, you fucking elbow one of them. Just to say, ah, just to be rough. You're leaving you gotta a, set a message. You're leaving a trail, dude. That's contact. No. Contact. Contact. Contact tracing, man. I'm They'll not going to spit DNA on her and leave my DNA. I'm just going to sock her. Oh, yeah, because that won't leave any fucking imprintations of your fists <laughs> upon an old woman's cheek. Don't tell me how to pirate. You have to leave some sort of clue and a message so people know... We're the ones. So, what would be your calling card? Uh, like a, if it it would just be old women. Just no. do, just leave a hundred dollar bill. Okay, that would be your calling card, cause you know your money bag, Joe. Oh, got it. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> well, that's not what we plan on talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it is Fourth of July. It is. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people celebrate the uh, independence of the United States. Mm -hmm. Uni Remember Trump? United States. United States. Um, yeah, so if you're out there right now and you're not sucking a dog, what the fuck? Honestly, right now, if you're watching this right now, it's the 4th of July. Take a pic. Go get a fucking hot dog. Ooh. Pause this. Ooh. Pause it. Go get a hot dog. Cover it in, in a bunch of shit. Whatever you want. Or don't. And then send us a picture of you watching it with the hot dog. That I want to see. That's fucking porn. We, I got to say, we have gotten some incredible dog sucking season posts. Yeah. Also, I got one. Uh, I got a fucking, the pussiest dog. Oh, uh, what, what was that? It was such that? a prude dog. Oh, no. What happened? It was just a regular dog. You want to dog that bitch up? And then it was like, it was just mustard. But the mustard looked like, like, eh, eh, eh. 
Like it was like a pitiful amount of mustard. Really? Like even if you're gonna go mustard, which we're not proponents of, but if you're gonna go mustard, like mustard bro, it up, mustard it up. Yeah, lather that son of a bitch up. Make this thing a little slutty. Smack it, suck it, and fuck it. Yeah, that's the. I mean, yeah, that's how you're supposed to eat a hot dog. Where are you at for dogs? Have you? Have you? Can you give me a rough count? Bro, I honestly am, am slacking, and it's not Fourth of July for us right now. But I'll tell you this right now: on the Fourth of July, it's going, it's going not up, and. I'm gonna get some chili. Ooh, ooh, chili dog. Or like sloppy Joe. Uh, you're not gonna be at my birthday party this year, but it's gonna be a dog sucking extravaganza. Oh, oh, don't. Yeah, it's gonna. Um, uh, I will say this. Yep. Um, I am at at least 21 dogs since Memorial Day, <sighs> and I feel good. I think you're higher than me. Honestly, that whole like dogs take 35 minutes off your life thing, I don't believe because if Joey Chestnut is still alive, Lord knows he's eaten enough to be dead in a week. You think that guy pukes? I would hope so. I would hope so too. How do you live with yourself after sucking down that many of anything and not throwing up everywhere? That is a big. Also, what is that poop? What is that poop like? Oh, I don't want to know. It probably comes out the same way it looks going in. Like a just like soft serve. Oh, I thought you were just talking about a full hot dog. Oh well, maybe maybe that too. Because he doesn't really swallow. Yes, he does. Well, I'm saying he doesn't chew. Is what I meant. He chews. <laughs> I know, but he's just like jamming it in there. That was a bad thing to do. Yeah, that's going to get fucking <laughs> clipped for sure. That is right there. That was a bad thing to do. Are you going to watch the dog, the, the sucking competition? Sometimes, if I'm like, if I'm not like outside drinking or something. You think our boy Crazy Legs is in it this year? Ooh, maybe. If he is, you got to send, send him a shirt and have him wear it. I uh, it takes it way too seriously for me to do that. <laughs> I don't think he'd be, he'd be uh, open to that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I try to watch it, but then I after a while I'm watching it, I'm like, what am I watching? This is insane. How many realistically do you think you could do? Honestly? Yeah. Six. Yeah, I would say that's that's fair. And that would be very hard for me. There was one year that we did it with full screen, but I was like joking around, like I put ketchup on them, and I, I like I didn't dunk them in water because I'm not. Like, <laughs> and also was like drinking a butt heavy, and I ate three. <clears throat> In 15 minutes. Three and 15 minutes? That's not a lot. So, no, it's not. But I, at that point, I was like, yo, this is this is a lot of food. Yeah. You know, like, uh, granted, I was drinking a beer and, like, fucking around, too. But, like, if I was really getting after it, like, I think I could have max done six. 15 minutes is, like... 15 minutes, I think I can do five. Six. At most, I would say. Because in a normal sitting, I'll have four. Yeah, but the sitting is a long time. I'm taking my time. I'm also having burgers with it. Whenever I have dogs, and most of the time I also have a burger. Yeah. Damn. This might be something that we need to test God, out. I want a hot dog so fucking bad right yeah, now. Yeah, I kind of want to crush a hot dog right now. There needs to be hot dog trucks everywhere. Yeah. I don't know why there are not more hot dog like restaurants. Like I want like a like a sit down restaurant. There was one I, when I went to LA, I went to one. Damn. They had it was just dogs. But it wasn't just hot dogs. They had like Chicken, they had bratwurst, but anything you could put that looks like a hot dog. Anything shape. that looks like a dick. Yeah. It was a cock shaped sort of place. And they had beers there too. Really good. Well, I would, I assume if you have hot dogs, you need to have a beer of some sort. Well, those are the rules, aren't they? Uh, before we move forward, let's get to some ads we have here. Uh, Simply Safe. Uh, keep your home safe. Keep everything safe. All your shit safe with Simply Safe. I don't think that's the official slogan, but that's what I'm going with. Uh, Simply Safe offers comprehensive protection not only against intruders and burglary, but against expensive home hazards like flooding or fires or anything like that. There was a story uh, of a guy named Josh. Put some, he was fucking drunk, probably put some uh, pizza bagels like in his oven, forgot about them, and then started smoking. The alarm went off, uh, which thankfully saved his life. Otherwise, he would have been asleep while the fire got out of control. So the alarm saved his life, and also they contacted the proper authority, authorities uh, who were there on scene uh, soon after. So this thing will save your life uh, with things like that, but also keep you safe from burglars or people who are going to, like, try to break into your house or anything like that. Like, they have 24-7 uh, professional monitoring. Um, their agents take action immediately. Uh, it uses proprietary video verification technology so that monitor agents can visually confirm the threat in order to get higher priority 911 dispatch. Um, they're priced at a, a dollar a day with no long-term contracts, so it's affordable. Um, so yeah, go check them out, simplysafe.com slash basement. Go today and claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off with free interactive monitoring. Uh, that is simplysafe.com slash basement, spelled S-I-M-P-L-I-S-A-F-E dot com slash basement. Uh, go protect your stuff, folks. 
Uh, and next here we have Shopify. Shopify is the site you're going to want to use if you're starting an e-commerce business or you're going to, you know, whatever. If you're starting an e-commerce business, you need a website or something like that, you're going to want to use Shopify. It is the best. Everyone I know uses it. Uh, people who have big businesses, small businesses all over the map, everyone's using it. Um, it is the most convenient way. And also they have a lot of, they have a suite of a bunch of uh, features that will help you track analytics and tell you, you know, where traffic is coming from. So you can use that information to retarget them. It'll just help you build your business no matter how big or how small it is. You're going to want to use Shopify. Uh, it powers millions of businesses. Um, I use Shopify too. I've been using Shopify for a year. Like this is the only thing that I will use. Um, Go to shopify.com slash basement, all lowercase for a free 14 day trial and get full access to Shopify's entire suite of features. Grow your business with Shopify today. Go to shopify.com slash basement right now. Okay, folks, go do, do it. Do Shop it, do it, folks. Do it, folks. Shopify.com slash basement. All right. All right. All right. Um, I wanted to talk about something, something we haven't talked about in a very long time okay. or ever, soccer. Oh, uh, yeah. No, so uh, the World Cup's happening soon. Foot, football. Football, not soccer. Um, but we're American pieces of S. Um, but <laughs> the World Cup is in Qatar. Hot. Uh, my understanding, yeah. Never been personally. Pretty hot. I've never been there either. Um, but apparently, uh, there was a report that came out that said that, uh, you know, well, I mean, because it, it brings people from all over the world to this country, wherever it is, when it was in South Africa, that's right, or fucking Brazil, or wherever the fuck, um, it's coming to New York, 2026, 2026, and the United States, but it's gonna be in New York, um, or New Jersey, actually. Technically, yeah, Jersey. Yeah. What's up? Uh, but uh, in Qatar, they have some serious rules about sags. What are the rules? Sex. Well, I know. I heard what you said. Sex, sex. <laughs> Frank. Intercorns. Intercorn. Uh, <laughs> But it has announced that they will be enforcing a... S Hold on. I need to get this clean so that people understand what I'm clean, saying. Here. Clean up the sex. The World Cup is in Qatar. And Qatar has just announced that it will be enforcing a sex ban ahead of the World Cup. Meaning one night stands could face up to seven years behind bars if convicted. So if you get caught with your pants down and your ding dong in a V-bang, <laughs> you're going to jail. <laughs> You're a ding dong and a V bang. That's really good. Could you imagine being in prison and someone's like, "What are you doing time for?" It's like, man, armed robbery. What are you doing time for, man? I'm doing time for fucking you pussy, know, pussy for pussy for for eating pussy. Yeah, dude. Damn, that's got honestly though, that's some admirable shit to go to prison for. Yeah, kind of ling ding dong. Yeah, there's gonna be you know there's gonna be one hero. There's gonna be one at least one hero who gets locked up for like pleasing a man or a woman. And they're just like, yo, that's the most selfless be, shit in the world. Dude. I don't know that they'd be cool with gay stuff. No, I'm saying women pleasing men. Uh, or, or yeah, well, no, I don't think they're very cool with gay stuff over I would, there. I'm, and I don't know, but I'm assuming. No, I, I can almost guarantee. I believe they have a law that bans same-sex marriage. So, like, if they're not cool with people loving each other, like, you know. Definitely not being cool with people fucking, spitting on each other. What? What do you do? Whoa. You know what I mean. What was that? You know, just like, you know. <laughs> Elaborate on that, please. We're going to move forward. Uh, there will be no partying at all, really. Everyone needs to keep their heads about them unless they want to risk being stuck in prison. There's essentially a sex ban in place at this year's World Cup for the first time ever. Fans need to be prepared. A police source added, uh, sex is very much off the menu unless you're coming as a husband and a wife team. Uh, there will definitely be no one-night stands at this tournament. So... If you're just a single, ready to mingle kind of lad who's interested in, in soccer, keep that dick in your pants. You dude. know that there's some like 23 year old intern with NBC that's going over there, but is like leaving behind their partner. And there's like, babe, I won't do anything. Even if I wanted to, it's illegal. Yeah. And they're just going to use that the whole time as their defense. And she's like, I am an, a law abiding citizen. There's no drinking in public law, which makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, it per the country prohibits anyone from being publicly intoxicated. Isn't that every country? Oh, I guess like in like Vegas or something. Yeah, I, I think in Vegas it's like if you're not drunk, you're more in trouble than if you are drunk. Public affection between men and women is also a crime, and one is to not wear excess excessively revealing clothing in public. Yeah. Bro, it's going to be hot. 
Pro, you know, you could expect they're, they're going to expect that the women are wearing pants and the men are wearing. I think the men can do whatever they want over there because, of, you know, standards. Dude, I don't know. Would you go to a World Cup if you couldn't, like, wear a t shirt? I'm sure they can wear t shirts, Joey, but, well, like, they can't have their fucking balloon pies banging out in the middle of the street. <laughs> balloon pies. <laughs> You know, like I love that. You can't have a woman walking around just like just full, just full mount, you yeah, know, yeah, full yeah, mast yeah. in the middle yeah. of the street. I see what you're saying. <laughs> full mast. You get like I think that's what full they're. Mount. Like, but I think they can wear. No, like, I know. I'm being. I'm conservative I'm T-shirts. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can wear like graphic tees and stuff. Yeah, like if you're nice. walking down the street with a shirt that says like it's nine o'clock somewhere, you're good. Oh, but, those people should be thrown in jail. Yeah, I but, agree. Yeah. <laughs> Those people should be thrown in jail, you know, whatever. But uh, that's very much different. Don't but talk to me how, before how my coffee. How do you coffee. enforce this law? I, I imagine that there are going to be, like... I assume there's no, like, bars. Dude, maybe they they take, like, complaints. It's like, by the way, <laughs> I heard something last night. You're going to want... Like, how do they check that, too? Like, what's the due process like over there? Are Knock they going to, like, doors. walk in and, like, ask guys, be like, yo, let me smell your dick. If it smells like either bunge or bunge, you're fucking going away. I think so. Maybe they're smelling penises over there. That would be a pretty crucial way. You'd have to prove in a court of law that maybe, they did actually have sex. Maybe they just walk in and out of hotel rooms and are like, if it smells like a sex musk. Because it smells. There is a sex musk. Yeah. Uh, they don't have sex in a hotel that there's no windows. Poor ventilation. Well, not that there's no windows, but yeah. Say, like what poor- fucking prison <laughs> have you been to, Joey? <laughs> not no windows. I meant like the window isn't open. And then you like go to the bathroom or something, and then you come out, and you're like, "Oh, there's a sex smell." And it, yeah. and it, when it hits you, it fucking smacks you in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so like maybe that maybe they have like, you know, like they have examples of sex smell scents that like officers carry around with them. They have guard dogs that could smell pussy. <laughs> Can you imagine? They train their dogs to smell, smell sex. Yeah, they're like, yo, uh, you smell... Here's- just bring the dog in, just like... Because you know how they like bring him in and they hold him? Yeah, yeah. They're both. Like, Where's the pussy? And they're just like... Hip, k- 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 k. Yeah. And they, the and dog the just fucking... S- yeah. No, if the dog sits, then it's like, oh, there's pussy here. There's pussy here, 100%. Where's the fucking pussy, dude? They sit, yeah, they like... You were getting pussy in here? 100%. I think yeah. someone was getting pussy in here. And then they do the black light. Can you imagine that? Oh, the black light. The black light is what gives Knocking it away. Knocking on a door and just being like, heard someone was getting pussy in here. True? <laughs> TRF. Not me, sir. Not me, sir. Stand back. They just fucking flick the light. And this black light just looks like a Jackson Pollock painting in there. Oh, my God. The dog. Can you imagine doing that? There's got to be at least one person in the world that checks into a hotel and brings a black light and does that. Yeah, I, I am like. I prefer not to. I am cool not knowing if there was sex on those mm-hmm. sheets. Like, unless it like affects. Oh, there me. has been. Oh, when I went to Miami the first time, I went with my family. We stayed at like a fucking like a hotel Six or a motel or one of the you know one of those like Howard Johnsons or knockoff brands or whatever some shit bag place yeah. yeah and we got in and I I there was droplets of blood on my dad's blanket and I was like dad that's blood and he's like no went to sleep didn't give a fuck your dad yeah he didn't care oh I'm not cool with blood at all I'm not cool with blood at all but I'm saying like if there's blood there's yeah if there's smoke there's fire bingo <laughs> bingo yeah but. There was one time I went to a, I went I drove to Ohio, and we stayed at a motel. And the the room that we got, they uh, there was ants in the bed, and I was like I went to the front desk. I was like, bro, there's ants in the fucking bed. Oh, dog. there's an ant, dude. There's ants. An ant. Okay, ants. If it's not bed bugs, the fuck do you care? What is an ant gonna do to you? Like eight million of them are gonna fucking pick you up and like <laughs> carry Move me around you <laughs> way off. <laughs> no, bro. You would sleep in a, a random bed that had ants in it? I guess not. You'd be like, can I have a room that doesn't have fucking ants? Yeah, that's true. And, and then the next room that I went to, uh, there was no ants, but there was like in the back, there was, you could see that the rug had been cut into a square. Oh, that's, that's big time blood. So I was like, what the fuck? And then I lifted it. And the floorboards were like very discol- like a weird color, mm-hmm. but not dark. It was like a light, mm. and I was just like, I'm not gonna ask, but probably blood. Yeah, yeah I mean, you someone was probably 
blood murdered in there. Oh, oh, I was yeah. I was gonna say there. Yeah, something happened. Whether I assume that any hotel room that I stay at that isn't like a very nice hotel, someone died in, someone pissed in, someone sexed in. Oh, those, that, I mean, that, those are the three quadrants of life in any hotel. I yeah. mean. That's what most hotels slash motels were used in history. It's yeah. like they're going to go meet up with a mister or a mistress. They're going to do sex. They're going to kill someone. Or what was the other one? Um, piss? That's it. <laughs> well, if you think about it, any of those two things could also include piss. So it's got to be true. Sex could include piss. Like anytime I go on a plane... I have to have the realization, like, I put myself here. If I die, I can't be mad at anyone else. You know what I mean? I'd be pretty tight. I'd be upset, but, like, I'd be like, I made my own choices, you know? <laughs> but I have to have the same sense of, like, I put myself in this hotel room. If there's cum on the walls, I'm cool with it. Let me, let me, <laughs> let me ask you a question. When you're in a hotel, right, and you get into the bed, you know how, like, hotels, they, like, tuck the Fuck out Holy of the shit! Of the it's bed. very, very tight. Yeah. Do you like that or do you hate it? I like it. I don't mind it. I don't like it. Really? I don't. I feel like I'm in a hot pocket. Really? Oh, well, what's it's wrong? It's like so like tight. What's wrong with being in a hot pocket? I actually like the idea. Like I like being in a sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. But I don't like that it's so tight. My feet, my feet are like crushed. Really? I love it. I really do. I feel like I'm jamming my feet into ballerina shoes. I, you probably are. Uh, I enjoy it because it's a sense of comfort and safety. But. You can't recreate that outside of that room. No. I can't tell you how many times I've tried to hotel make my own bed. Can't happen. Doesn't fucking work. No. It's like there's something about that area. They're professionals. They're quite. There's something about the room and the sheets and stuff that makes it work. My bed, can't do it. Yo, and that's one of my least favorite things in the world is two of my least favorite things in the world. Besides, you know, murder and... Yeah, the, the bad ones. The big ones. Yeah. <laughs> Folding laundry Okay And making a bed And there's whole jobs Dedicated to those two things That like all day Someone just goes From room to room And just makes beds Yeah that's I a, would it, Hello Yeah Well a lot of those people Are not doing it Because they want to They are doing it Out of necessity To provide for their family Joey Frankie No one's saying That they want to I'm not saying Like these people are crazy I'm saying I can't believe The fact that people Are subject to that Sort of thing Yeah well You know That's the way The world works Joe uh, But I am with you there There are certain things Like there are people That taste test mustard You know what I mean wouldn't do that Wait no I'd like to be a taste tester I'd like to be a taste tester Bro did you ever see That must have been the coolest Oh no you didn't have a wedding You son of a bitch I was gonna say I feel like that was probably The coolest part of having a wedding It was a very cool part we Wait got... did you guys have food uh, Yeah Joey It was a fucking wedding Not I mean What you think we were going Into our wedding A week out And not having taste tested the food Wait you had Like a caterer we had the hall. Did there? They had chefs. Oh, really? Yes. What? Bro, why the fuck would I know that? It was in your backyard. It was COVID. Because you've been to eight. Oh no. Well, yes, at our backyard. That's one. what I was saying. Your oh. wedding. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. No, we did. We got it. We we ordered a caterer to come and cater our wedding. Oh, okay. What Joey's re referencing is my wedding was canceled twice, and then uh, we just ended up getting married in the backyard. Yeah. Which was adorable, cute, fun. We had a caterer come, and we taste tested some of their food. Oh, okay, because yeah. I was gonna say that's probably the best part about having a wedding, <laughs> not marrying your soulmate. Not, yeah, no, 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 not that part. <laughs> it's being able to try a bunch of different types of cake. Yes, bro. The <laughs> first venue that we that was like we were using for our actual wedding, we were so heartbroken, and we passed by it all the fucking time. Mm -hmm. And you know, obviously, of course, we were upset. Blah blah blah. blah. Hindsight actually kind of worked out for us because we have a house now because of it. Yep. But. Uh, they had some fucking slamming food, dude. Did they? They had, I mean, I know this is not a fucking like crazy idea, but for I've never seen it at a wedding venue. They had fucking uh, tap of beer built into the wall, so like anyone could just go up and just serve their own beer. They had fucking like just the food was great and it was really 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 sick and we always said that one day we're gonna have a party there for like our friends and family for no reason just invite people to come mm -hmm. just so we can reap the benefits of what that was because that was fucking good would well would have been good it would have been good because that that was good yeah yeah no, uh, I mean. what were we oh sex at the world cup 
Yeah, no, you know it's fucking. That's kind of crazy because that's a very horny area, isn't it? Known as like Cup? the World Cup and like Olympic Village is like a very horny. No, the I mean the World Cup I don't know, but the but the the Olympic Village, yeah, people are fucking and sucking all the time. Oh, fucking sucking all the time, not before the big game or the big race. No, you got to be prepared for that. You can't do that. You trained the last four years for this. Do you remember that? Uh, I don't know if it's a myth, but like in high school, I remember people saying like. No sexual contact with anyone before, like the night before a big game, because it'll ruin your game. Yeah, or like there's some UFC fighters that are like they won't have sex because they lose like testosterone or something. I don't, I don't even know. I don't think that's true. I asked my bro. You know, I, I didn't follow any of the like in, is, even in like high school, like before. Yeah, you didn't follow because you weren't having sex with anyone, Joe. Well, no, you fucking the, loser. I'm not. <laughs> I'm saying like. All of the things growing up that they tell you not to do, like where they're like, don't eat, eat 30 minutes before going swimming. I was like, fuck this. No, that one don't do. No, I've done it mad times. Yeah. Doesn't mean you should. I don't think that's real. Joey, it is absolutely real. What's real? You what can, is it? That you get a cramp? Yeah, you're fucking cramp up and drown. If you're from going what? in, you're going from your body's trying to fucking digest your food, Joey. And, but what? Why is it the water? Because you're trying to swim. Okay, but how many times have you eaten and then done a thing? Yeah, not a full body, a full body workout like fucking. You've the, never eaten a sandwich and go and play a basketball game. I've done that countless times. No, I don't think not immediately after. I, definitely within after thirty minutes, I would say. Bullshit. That's no bullshit. I, I don't think it's bullshit. Don't Bro, cross your eyes. They'll say like that. Bullshit. My mom and grandma are fucking. Yeah, liars. that was stupid, and they are liars. Yeah, they're Irish Catholic liars. Yes, they are. <laughs> I remember the one that I legitimately believe in too is like don't drink soda before like any like sports games or anything like that because we knew a kid who like it was going out of style drank Pepsi like exclusively wouldn't drink Gatorade wouldn't drink water drank Pepsi and drank like a fucking like a bottle of Pepsi before a football game the first play of the game cramped up both his hamstrings and they were like bro you're fucking dehydrated and shit like well I mean, I, th I don't think that the soda is the cause. It's the dehydration. The well, not having water. It was because you're only drinking soda. Well, yeah. I'm saying it's not just like, don't drink soda because it'll blah, blah. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I, 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 some of that shit I agree with. But like the whole, like, as you were saying, like, don't, don't cross your eyes. I'll get stuck like that. All stupid shit from stupid parents that were stupid idiots. Yeah. Or like, oh, if you eat all those potatoes, you're going to turn into potato. No, I'm not. Or, or the one where it was like, don't put the light on in the car. It's illegal. Yeah. Is it illegal? No, I don't know. I don't think so. Don't put your feet on the dashboard. I don't think that's illegal either. That's just dumb. Though. That's I, dangerous. Yeah, don't do that. Not illegal. Yeah, I don't think it's illegal. It's I, illegal to drive without a shirt. One time a cop pulled me over. What? Yeah. And what they say? Nice abs? No, they... <laughs> Good thing you did that really hard bike ride. I was leaving the fucking beach and I had a, a my shirt off because I was like wet still kind yeah. of. And I was leaving, and the cop, like, was like, "You gotta put a shirt on." And I'm like, "Why?" He's like, "You can't drive without a shirt." What? I was like, "Did not know that." I didn't know that either. That's a really stupid one. Yeah. I gotta understand no pants because you know. You can't have your fucking yeah. dick out. You can't have your dick and ball bags out. Also, I drive barefoot a lot. Yeah, I don't think I think that's another one of those myths. I think it's like there. I don't think you're not allowed to do it, but you probably shouldn't. I don't think you're allowed. Uh, I, I could be wrong, but I'm probably not. Well, you can't. The thing is, driving with slippers is dangerous because the slipper can come off your foot and then just like. Yes, that one I, I, I would agree with. I wouldn't do that. I don't tend to do it. Can't get blown. That's a that's a one, too. Can't get roadhead. And yet, roadhead prevails. Roadhead is still a thing. When do you think they first started doing roadhead? Oh, when they had the horses? I was going to say when it was the cars that had like the like fucking like the model the, T. They draw the shades. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. You're getting sucked yeah. in that thing. Bro, are you kidding me? Someone I'm else? Saying, way before that, I'm saying. Oh. Like a horse and carriage. They were probably getting. Oh, tanked. people were fucking going to town on each other's dunges. Which is. It? <laughs> <laughs> dunges. <laughs> no, what was the first sort of like. I guess a horse, but you can't get sucked on a horse. You can, the first form of transportation, yeah, I would like, say. Yo, what about, why don't you just do well, this? Horse-drawn carriages. Was that the first thing? Not the first, but, like, you have to imagine, like. It was horseback. They would just put some rope and, like, a box with a wheel on the end of it. Yeah. Think about, like, the Wild West. They had, like, a bunch of horse-drawn carriages. The horse, you have the horse walk. 
You think anyone's ever gotten blown on a hayride? Yes, dude. Hundred percent. Rolling in the hay. You think that ain't a thing? Yeah, rolling in hay is different than a hayride. It's very bouncy. I would, I would assume. I haven't been on a hayride in quite some time. I've been on a hayride in the last five years. Really? Yeah. I don't remember the last time I was on one. I think my nephew. We went to like pumpkin picking or something, and there was a hayride, and I was like, "You gotta go on." I'm gonna get on this bitch. I, I, I would imagine that if there is a flat surface and not enough people, like there's sex going on on it. I can almost guarantee it. Like a boat, having sex on how a boat. Are you not, how do you not know this, Mr. Fucking Porn Category Guy? You always know these porn categories? Where it's like, I saw a porno with that once. I've never seen a hayride blowed. I can almost guarantee. Do a quick Google. I can almost guarantee that there is a, a hayride sex porno. What should I type in? Hayride, hayride sex porno, I guess. <laughs> sex porno? I don't know. Hayride blowjob. Well... There's a ton. Yeah, okay. Let me shut off the no, volume. No, I don't want to. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll as long watch. as it, it, it exists, then we know. Oh, no. I mean, sh- no, this one just says, I fuck my stepdaughter, Hannah Hayes. Hay spelled like hay. Hayride. But no hayride. Oh, oh, the person's name is Hannah, Hannah Hayes. Hayes. Okay, yeah, I was like, yeah. I was trying oh, to figure no. that one out. This might be on a hayride. Uh, right now, it's just kissing. This is a BJ scene. <laughs> uh, they are... They're just, they're not on a hayride. They're just in a bunch of hay. Like, this is where they keep, like... Oh, rolling animals. in the hay is different. Um, we specifically hay. said hayride. This needs to be moving and bouncing. because It, it needs to be bouncing. on the back of a vehicle. I mean, that's that's what a hayride is. A hayride... And not just any vehicle. A, a truck. tractor. A truck or a tractor. Uh, yeah. Okay, this is called riding lessons. No, that's got to be a... That's just a sex one. No, they're in hay. Again, in hay is different than on a hayride, oh, Joe. Suspended by yeah, no, they're just in a barn. Oh my god, that was <laughs> full vagina right in my face. I was not expecting that. It's uh oh, it's one thirty. Never mind. Oh okay. <laughs> I thought it was way earlier than that for some reason. I was like, it's you know. It's What's the earliest before. you've watched porn? I don't know. When you wake up, really? I, I, it's not, I don't do that. That like, seems like I wouldn't chew gum before noon. Like that seems like <laughs> that's bad. True. That's, that's a, that seems you know, like like an afternoon I'm, or evening type thing. I'm more inclined to watch porn in the morning than I am chewing gum because I don't chew gum in the morning either. Because you brush your teeth. You yeah. Need the gum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I did chew gum this morning. But I, that was the first analogy that Gum's I thought of. Gum's for the afternoon. Gum is gum is an afternoon. It's a snack. At least a snack. Yeah. It's not like a morning thing. Hmm. I don't know about it being a snack. I do. I would say. I mean, I I would imagine that it's like you know. An afternoon thing. I don't know. Hmm. Um, but there are people out there. Yeah, that, that's that's that that's w- hayride porn for you folks. Uh, we have I'm, some other ads here too that oh. we have to get to. The first one being SeatGeek. If you want to buy tickets to anything, you want to go to a concert, you want to go to uh, a monster truck l- rally, you want to go to uh, you know uh, any sporting event, or you want to get tickets to a hayride, you can use SeatGeek uh, for any of these things. Probably not the hayride, to be honest with you. Um, you just show up to a pumpkin patch. They'll probably have it for free there. Probably, at least. Um, but, yeah, if you go to SeatGeek, uh, you can download the app or you can go to the website. Uh, this is where you're going to want to buy your tickets, all right? It's the best place to buy them. They have, a, like, a little rating system. If you see dark green, that means it's a really good ticket. If you see dark red, that's a horrible ticket. Do not buy it. Um, and it'll show you the view from your seats. Um, and they have, like, everything you need there. Anytime I buy tickets, I am using SeatGeek, and you should, too. Uh, it is great. And right now you can save some money. Uh, with your first purchase, twenty dollars to be exact, uh, exact off of your first purchase uh, with the promo code Basement at SeatGeek.com or the app, uh, which I think is more convenient. So download that app, SeatGeek app. Twenty dollars off of your first purchase with the promo code Basement. Go do it. Go see something. Get outside. Twenty dollars on us. All right. And lastly, here we have Squarespace. Uh, S- Squarespace is how you're going to want to build. Uh, your your website, all right? Uh, Squarespace I've used many times in the past. Anytime I've built a website from scratch, uh, it is with Squarespace. Um, but it's, a, it's great. And they have like a whole bunch of tools that you can use. It's an all-in-one platform for building your brand, uh, growing your business online. You can stand out with a beautiful website. They have a bunch of templates that you can use and change certain things. Um, the templates are, I think, are like the best part of the website because 
it's hard to like imagine what a website would kind of like look like if you're not a developer or like whatever. So you go on and you can see like, a bunch of different templates and say like, okay, this one is kind of what I want. And then you can change certain things to make it easy to build it. Um, so yeah, it's great. If you want to use, uh, if you want to build a website and you need to do any of that and you don't want to pay a ton of money to some sort of developer, check out Squarespace because they do have uh, a bunch of templates for you to use and they make it easy to kind of understand and you really could do it yourself. Um, so we can save you some money there. Uh, go to squarespace.com uh, slash basement for a free trial. And when you use, uh, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code basement to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay. Again, that is a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code basement to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. All right. So get out there, build your nice websites. I want to see them, send them to me. All right, go check them out, Squarespace. Um, yeah, so I figured we, uh, you know, kind of end with a thing that I was going to bring up before because we were talking about the hotel rooms. Yes, we were. And I didn't honestly put two and two together. About because, because you dropped out of college. No, I didn't put two and two together uh, with the square that was cut out of the rug. Yeah. Uh, you said it may be blood. I didn't even consider that. I thought maybe a flood. I don't know. Wait, hold on. So you thought a flood took out only a single square? No, I thought that maybe because in my mother's house, we had a cut of square out of the floor because there was a a um, leak. There was there was like a, a a pipe there that we had to like clear or something. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember that. You know what I mean? So I, so I thought maybe that was why, and there was a flood. But you said blood. Definitely don't like that. One of my least favorite up there with cum. Not my cum. Honestly, oh, not your. Wait, you you like her cum? Not that I, I. No, I just don't. You'd rather be safe. Like it's a sense of like warmth when you're around your own cum. No, <laughs> I mean I just don't. I'm not. Go ahead. I. I'd rather. <laughs> Look at have, how flustered he is. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm trying to uh, verbalize this. I would rather have someone else's blood on me than someone else's cum on me, is what I was trying to say. Oof. I would, I mean, ooh, that's really tough. Bro, cum. That's really, really tough. Cum's I would. a lot. I guess, yeah, I think, I think I'd rather blood. I, I think, I don't know, man. I mean, I'd probably be it's, very upset with either. Let's be honest. And if you had to pick out of the, the bottom four, you're going with piss. Yeah, we've, we've literally had this exact same conversation. Pee on me all day. Well, yeah. No, pee on, give me, you know. Give me the morning to get myself together. Because pee, pee is sweet. Like Bear Grylls is drinking it and stuff like that. Like if if you can drink pee, like you're fine. But like you you'll have a problem drinking blood and cum. And I don't like getting blood on me. Yeah, I I don't think I've ever gotten anyone else's blood on me that I can remember. I've definitely gotten other people's blood on me. When when the fuck what the fuck have you been up to? Not that. <laughs> oh, here we go. When I was cracking heads on the football field. Fuck you. No, I just remember. I just like don't like blood. And not that I, I'm not one of those people that like pass out. I just don't like it. I just think it's gross. Um, also, you do this shit. No. That when you cut your finger and you start bleeding, you go. Yeah, I do do disgusting. that. Disgusting. I do do that. I have a problem where I I, I pick particularly this area of my thumbs. I pick them. Yeah, raw. your thumbs are a fucking tragedy. Right, I take it easy, okay? They are, dude. This one isn't that bad right now. This one not so great. No. This one is a little cut right here. You're barely of, gonna have thumbs when you're older. Uh, I mean, I think I'll still have thumbs, Joey. Mm, I, I think know. the sides of them will probably be raw like fucking Monday night. But yeah. outside of that, I do. I, I am one of those people. But I'm also the type of person where like something will happen. I think I'm going to bleed and I'll squeeze it. Just be like, if you're going to fucking bleed, do it now. Yeah, you son of a I bitch. do that too. You know, it's too. like, dude, you do it, you weak pussy. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I do the same thing. <laughs> if you had a little cut on my arm, I'm just like, yeah, go ahead, bleed. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> you know, most of the time doesn't bleed. No, I bleed. Do you? Yeah. You're an easy bleeder. Uh, easy bleeder. You ever Have you ever bled like... From like your bunge, my dick. No, your butt. I meant to say. Oh, my butt. butt. No. Yeah, I've had blood in my stoop. So weird. I had this conversation literally yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not, I was at, not with me, for the record. No, no, no. I had this conversation yesterday, and I was like, "Oh no, I've never like shit blood in my life." Oh. And they were like, "What, dude?" <laughs> I was, was like, "Yeah, no, never." That was a that was a daily occurrence for me for a fucking like two and a half years. That was a good two years, huh? No. <laughs> Let me tell you, not a fun two years. That's never happened to me, ever. Yeah. And you might not even know, like, because it's not like you look at... First of all, you don't inspect all your shit. No, I don't, like, inspect. You look at everything that you take? <laughs> what do you mean? 
You look every time you you're done. You look at it. I don't like inspect it, but I see it. But I'll know if like there's blood in there. I mean, when you're saying blood in there, you're thinking that it comes out red, and that's not necessarily no, the it case. No, like black, and which you would notice if your shit was black. That's, no, because it's like black. N- n- that I, means that there was bleeding in your high, like high in your intestine. Oh, thanks, science. That's true. I'm just saying, like uh, personally, with me, like I, for someone that has had to red or black. Red, dude. Uh, so like that's there was it. like you could you would look at it and say that's blood, not like that's dark. Like I I remember a, like red, black. That happens to people when they drink. Apparently, I think Pete told me he's like, yeah. Sometimes it looks like a, a murder scene. I was like, yo, that's literally never happened yeah. to me, and I would need to go to a psych ward. <laughs> Pete Pete's got some other things going on. I, think. I literally was just like, yo, if that happened to me, like I would assume that I'm dying tomorrow. It hasn't happened to me in a long time. Uh, make that very clear. But like there was a point. Like, and you might not re- necessarily realize it. I had to once give a stool sample, and it was the worst day of my entire life. How do you give a stool sample? I'll tell you exactly how, Joey. <laughs> the doctor sent me home with fucking cups and was like, you need to, we need to test to see, like, what's going on. Like, if there's, confirm if there's blood or whatever. And I'm like, all right, what do I do? They gave me a cup, and then they gave me this thing that looked like a fucking pail. And I was like, what is this? And they go, oh, it goes over your, your toilet seat. And I was like, and what do I do? And they're like, shit in it? Yeah. And I'm like, w-. and then what? And they're like, unscrew this lid. And I unscrew the lid, and on the underside of the lid, there was a fucking spork. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what, what do I do? And they're like, you fucking scoop it onto the thing, and you put it in the thing with liquid. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. And they're like, yeah. And you, you keep it in your fridge and it can't be older than 24 hours. I'm like, fuck you. And they're like, no, seriously. And you know how like when someone says like, oh, it smells like shit. That's when shit is going into a water. Fu- water. Bro, shit in the air yeah. is misery. You had to put a fork in your shit <laughs> and then put it in your fridge. Now one of the prouder days of my life. Yeah. Uh, but it wasn't fun. I'll uh, tell you. We're that. all gonna have to fork our shit. Right? And like you, I put it in a in a thing in a container, and then put it in like side three bags. Like one was like a Ziploc, the next one was like a plastic bag, and then the other one was like another fucking Ziploc. Oh my god, dude! It was miserable. And like you could see, you could look at it and say like, "Yo, there's blood there." And it, yeah. it, it looked it like it looked like a fucking looked like a Twizzler. Moving on. <laughs> the reason why I bring up blood and not shit. But shit just follows us, follows us everywhere, like our shadow. Uh, a New York woman apparently ordered a, a, a chair off of Amazon, and then she took a video and she put it on uh, Twitter. Her, she tweeted, she's like, if I told you the leather chair I ordered from Amazon was packaged with a blood collection tube that is full, would you believe me? Um, and then she sent a video, and it's literally in, like, when you get a blood test, and they, put those, they give you those little tubes. Yeah. Um, one was just in the box with this fucking chair. How does that happen? I would burn that fucking chair and box to the ground, dude. Bro, a tube of blood shows up in my house. I think that the mafia is like sending me a message. Bro, did I ever tell you what happened to one of my neighbors? Not blood, because blood would be scary. She got someone that came to her house and just left a package on the front step. She didn't order it. Nothing happened. She opened the package and it was like, 15 pounds of butter of sticks of <laughs> butter dude and like it's like damn the Amish are sending a message bro but like that's that's fucking creepy <laughs> you know what I mean like you know butter. there's yeah dude it was weird but like not blood but like butter is kind of creepy too if anything that's more creepy because now I'm confused yeah it's like what what message are you trying to send like, are you threatening me you know how like the mob would be like send a cheese because you're a fucking rat like what yeah, what's yeah. the butter you know what I mean like oh because I'm a fucking like a cow Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe because I'll tip them. I'll tip them like a cow. We want to milk you. Ooh. Milk them for what they're worth. Or that. Extortion. Extortion. Did it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fucking strange. Is, the, is, like, what would be your thought process with getting a vial of blood in the mail? It would not go well. <laughs> Dude, I throw out my own forks when I don't wash them for a few days. I know. I'm like, oh my God, so much bacteria. I just throw it out. Yep. Do you still do that? I did it recently. It wasn't a fork. It was a mason jar. So you have told me 
that you can't give me that 98% raise that I've asked for, but you can just- 98% raise? But you can just, well, because I only get 2%. Oh, okay. Uh, but you just readily throw out your silverware? It's not, it, it was a glass. How much? It wasn't silver. Can I, I ask you, out, can I, I, I haven't thrown out silverware in a very long time. Okay, can I ask you a serious question? But I'm throwing out cups. How many cups <laughs> over the last year have you thrown out because they're dirty? Uh, three. Okay. You do have these. One of, if not all of these things. You ready? Mm -hmm. Working hands. Yes. Sponges. Yeah. Soap. For sure. Water. Mm -hmm. The ability to get that water slightly warm. Definitely. Okay. You know what else I have? A dishwasher. Yeah. Yeah. A good one. <laughs> but it's just up here. Why? It doesn't leave me. I don't know. Why? I can't. I can't. You... I, the reason why this happened was because I didn't have any more. You know what I throw out all the time? All the time. Towels? Protein shakers. Yeah, that makes sense. Those are kind of cheaply made and disposable. Most no. I throw them out when they're new. Like I will buy one. this is what I'm telling you. Right? This is the not most... when they've been worn oh, off. Oh my god, you're whatever. not doing yourself any favors here. I just want to make the that reason clear. why I throw out a glass, right? So I haven't thrown out silverware. I've been on top of this because I've been like, you know, doing the dishes and stuff. But the problem is with these shakers, that's where I get an issue because I usually when I I get home from the gym and then I just chug a fucking uh, protein shake and I put it on the counter. And I always tell myself I'm going to fill it with water and just like drink the water throughout the day. I'm like, whatever. And then I take a shower, right? But then sometimes I take a shower and then I, I'm getting dressed and I forget about it. And then there's protein like residue on this thing. And then it just doesn't get clean for a few days you for know. whatever it is. And then, and then I'm in my head. I'm looking. I'm like, I can't. I, this is disgusting. No, I'll, I'll tell and you I this. throw them out. So the reason why the glass got happened is because I had to make a protein shake in a mason jar. Because I had no more clean shakers because they were in the dishwasher. And then that was just sitting in the fucking sink. And then I was like, oh, I'm done. So, and the funny thing is, sorry. No, no, I want to say none of this is funny. <laughs> no, the thing is, there was a bunch of other stuff in the sink with it that was the same age as it. But I threw only that out. So it seems like the issue here is protein. No, it's me. Oh, no, we know that. But, like, it's only happening with things that you put protein in, which is also a super... So, so, because it... It doesn't uh, age well. It doesn't, and it stinks. I, I, I'm, I'm right there with you. And it's closed. But. I'd rather it be open. But you have the tools to clean it, make that stink, and the smell and everything go away. The real issue is that I don't do the dishes consistently enough. Um, I mean, I, I'm not going to talk shit about that because, like, that, that fucking makes sense. Like, you, you work. Like, you're, you're not, like, fucking. You're busy. I also, but also, like, I've, I definitely, when I lived in Long Island City... Horrible with the dishes. Horrible. I did. I think I did the dishes at your Long Island City place more than you did. And that's not a fucking <laughs> joke. That's not a joke. I was very bad there. But that was also like my first real apartment. And I was just like, fucking, I don't know. But in this apartment, like I do all the dishes and like, it's fine. Everything's cool. But there are just some days where like, or if like, if I have like a busy day or something, because I'm horrible with my calendar and I'll just say yes to everything. And then I'll just try to make it work. And then I get home after like a long day or I like I go out after work and then I don't get home until like 10 o'clock and I'm like well I'm not gonna do the dishes now Can't do them and now. then if I go away for the weekend or something then I come home on Monday everything's getting tossed oh everything's gone <laughs> everything's gone burning it down wait until you have kids because I'll be like, all right, I'm going to do the dishes when the kids go to sleep. The kids go to sleep and I'll be like, it'd be too loud to do the dishes right now. I can't do them right now. Yeah. I, I, I consistently come up with new excuses to not do the dishes sometimes. They get a little backed up. Guess what? I get to them eventually. Or Becca does them, God bless her soul. Yeah. Because I don't have the time or energy to do them. Uh, but God bless her soul. God bless her soul. Because there's sometimes those dishes, I'm just like, God, I can't do this right now. Yeah. The I, but I've is. never... I've always, and I've had some stuff that like has been sitting there for too long where it's like, this is a, this is a, a containment issue. Like yeah. this is a hazard, but I don't, I'm like, I don't care. I'll fucking clean it out. If I got a vial of blood with a chair, that chair is getting burnt. Yeah. Yeah. I'm throwing that out. I don't give a fart. Yeah. What, like how cool that chair was. Oh, mid-century suede fucking. Like I care about mid-century. Dude, that if there's blood, in, if there's a vial of blood, if there was like a little drop of it in the box, I'd be like, wow, that's weird. Cardboard box. Bro, a vial? That's evil. No, if there was a drop, I would argue that's much worse. No. 
Out? Bro, blood? A vial? It's raw. It's out. Yes, but it's dried probably. Bro, a vial? It wasn't at one point. You know where I instantly go? Vampires. That's your concern? Cloning. Cloning. Fucking uh, serial killer. Yeah. Come on. You gotta think about those things. If there's, I have to think about vampires. <laughs> yes, you do. Especially if you get a vial of blood from a fucking. You ordered this sweet chair, and it comes with a vial of blood, bro. That came from a vampire. They're out there. They wouldn't just give away blood. They have to drink it. Yeah, but it was an accident, probably. And they're gonna be hunting it down because they're gonna be like, I need that. I need that back. So I'm gonna have to go vampire or some shit. I need to get a gun. You <laughs> no. You need a fucking. You need to get a steak. And some garlic. And garlic. Who chose that? That was such a stupid thing. I think that was just a way of just being like, I don't know. It was stupid. I got, I'm tired. I'm hungry right Ooh, now. I'm, I'm pretty hungry, hungry too, actually. You want to, on, on my way out, you want to get a pizza? No, I don't want pizza. Okay. <laughs> but I think we can wrap up here, Frank. Where can, where can I find you? Uh, well, it's 4th of July, so fucking he y'all. God bless America. What the hell was that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, F. Alvarez 8085 on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on Instagram. Go check out the Patreon. We didn't bring it up during the episode, but Patreon, people. We're, uh, well, as of recording, we're closing in on about 1103. 11 Go ahead. <laughs> Go, I'm going to keep going. 1103. What? 11,300. We said we were going to do something at 11,000, but things didn't work out. So guess what? 12,000 is our next goal. All right. So we do appreciate all the people that are there. There's great content on there that you can watch. Uh, and uh, also, if you're in that first tier, you get these weekly episodes a week in advance. So go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Start. End your week with The Basement Yard. It's, it's, it, it, it's a way to help support us, the, the boys. So go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Yep, and uh, go follow me at Joe Santagato and go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram and that is all. See you guys next time. Next time.